right, guys. So, oh, that light's bright as fuck. All right. Just finished doing shoulders, traps. So I'm about to hit up some arms. All right. Um, I don't know. You might see that first part. You might not that I was talking about, but a lot of people are always like, oh man, how do you get big arms? Well, here's my arm routine. So you can see what your boy does for his arms on arm day. You already know the drill. I'm not going to bore you guys with all the weight slamming and this gym music. I'm going to put on my own music and I'm going to commentate this bitch. And I'll talk to you guys afterwards. What's up all my devil dogs? It's your boy, Sean Ali, AKA Mr. FSG, the general. All right, so a lot of people always ask me, hey man, how you get your arms so big? And even though I'm cutting and I feel small as fuck right now, I'm gonna share with you guys my arm routine, all right? So first thing I start off with, as you can see, close grip incline bench, all right? And let me tell you, this is one of the best tricep exercises you can do in the gym. And let me tell you why, all right? Pretty much, as opposed to doing it flat, when you go flat dumb, uh, flat barbell bench, close grip, uh, a lot of times you tend to use your shoulders a lot. With this, your shoulders, really you don't feel it at all, you really get a good squeeze in the triceps. All right, so I start off with 45 on each side, and I pyramid it up. So I added 10 pounds, and I try to rep it out right here. Don't remember how many I got, but I got a good amount right here. Just trying to go for at least eight to 12 reps. All right, so here's my last set. I did three total sets. And the last one, I dropped the weight a little bit and I really wanted to get 10 here. All right, I kind of, I think I might have gotten seven on the last one or just barely eight and I really wanted 10. So I'm pretty sure I got the 10. Uh, it was a struggle, but hey, when you're in the gym, man, you gotta challenge yourself sometimes. All right, second exercise I did right here. As you can see, I like to stick with compounds first to really get like a good squeeze and really pull as much weight as I can. So I'm basically doing close grip, uh, lat pull down, reverse grip, all right? With your hands underneath, so supinated. And what I'm really doing is instead of leaning back on my back and really squeezing with my back muscles, I'm really focusing on squeezing with the bicep, all right? You can move a lot more weight this way because it's a compound lift. And we all know, compound lifts, equals more weight, which equals more muscle gains. All right, third thing, now I'm isolating the triceps, all right? So what I did here, you just get a bar, go to the jungle gym, right? And it's just underhand uh, tricep press downs, all right? This is gonna really help focus on the long head of the tricep, which is the head that really makes your arm look big, all right? And you do that flex, or you're wearing a shirt, the long head is what really gives you that size, all right? And for this, I stuck to higher reps, so anywhere from 10 to 15, probably higher, around 15, 12 to 15. All right, last exercise, guys, is three sets of incline dumbbell uh, curls, all right? What's good about this is, as you can see, it prevents shoulder flexion. See how my shoulder stands stable? All right, that's what you really want when you're doing your biceps because that isolates them. That allows you to not cheat with your shoulders, which when you do a conventional curl, or either an easy curl bar or a straight bar, you'll tend to cheat a little bit. With this, very little cheating, if any at all. All right, that's the workout, guys, as far as arms goes. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave comments below. All right, guys, so we're done with arms and ugh, we're done with shoulders, done with arms. Done with traps, all right? I've already exercised my right to bear arms. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm gonna hit up a little bit of abs for you guys. I'm gonna give you a full-blown ab routine probably sometime next week. Just because, I, I mean, I'm only gonna do a few things here and I don't wanna sell you guys short. I wanna have a really good ab routine for you guys for the ab video, all right? But check out what, I'm in, what I am about to do right now, all right? All right, guys, so I hit a little bit of abs. Start off with this ab crunch machine. Honest to goodness, I didn't really like it that much, all right? I, I felt like it was kind of a weird movement. I mean, I felt it in my abs a little bit, but I definitely prefer like cable crunches or even decline crunches, but try the machine out if you have it at your gym, but I think there's definitely better exercises for your upper abs, all right? All right, next thing I did was some weighted uh, captain's chair leg raises, okay, or knee raises. 
This is really good for the lower abs, guys, all right? What you wanna do is, I'm using a dumbbell just to make it a little more challenging. I like to go weighted twice a week and unweighted once a week, all right? I like to go weighted because I'm really trying to develop my abs right now, you know? I feel like that's actually one of my weaker points, believe it or not. And my next bulk, I'm really gonna focus on them, but this is a great exercise. All right, here's another angle for you guys, okay? You really wanna make sure you're taking it slow. You wanna squeeze at the top, you know, and really pause just for a second, and then let the weight back down, all right? Start off with just your body weight and work your way up to using weights, okay? Don't try and go too hard because lower abs is hard to develop. You wanna make sure you feel each and every contraction. All right, I decided, hey, why not? Let me do a little posing for you guys, all right? Show you guys I'm working with. So let's start off, what I do here? Front double bicep, all right? I definitely wanna work on my lats from the front. My chest has definitely come up since my last bulk. I've noticed that, so looking veiny too. My back, my back game is always on point. I mean, that's that's probably my strongest asset in all honesty. Bam, look at that width. I want more width though. <laughs> Side chest. I'm, I'm gonna be good, man, I'm gonna be good. All right. I'm gonna show you guys my abs. Warning, children, turn off your screens. This is gonna be nasty. I'm not. I'm. I'm still above 200. If I get out of 195, it's gonna be really nasty. This is my abs. I mean, my obliques shredded. Shredded. My abs pretty good. I want them a little leaner. I am gonna go down to 195. All right, guys. All my people out there doing me some cardio. Trying to hit 350. All right, just like every other day. Um, I was gonna leave because I couldn't count my calories on one of these machines, but whatever. I just can't see. <laughs> Your boy doesn't really care when people look at him while I'm recording these videos in the gym. So if I cared, then these videos wouldn't get produced because <laughs> the amount of weird looks I get is crazy. I'm getting them right now. I don't really care. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the workout. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to help you guys on this 4th of July. I'm about to go home. This video is going to end. You know what I'm saying? Uh, as far as the arm video goes. But uh, I still got my vlog going on. So keep up because there's a lot of fun stuff coming. All right. But remember, guys, if you want to get lean, you got to do your cardio, man. I'm probably going to make a cardio video right now because I don't really care so <sighs> with that being said don't forget the orders subscribe and share like and comment and until next time all my devil dogs do your cardio that's the order do your cardio get lean dismissed